Hi, in today's lesson, we're going to have Autodesk Revit Architecture Elementary course. In our third unit in lecture four, uh, part two, we're going to talk about curtain wall system example. And uh, we are going to try to model this building. Actually, that we did model this building, but we will try to add this curtain wall system to it. And uh, uh, how do we make the, div the division here? Adding a window, adding a door, and add sub elements here or sub uh, panels that have other curtain wall system with a different setting. And um, also try to show you how to make this a small little piece here of uh, uh, of a curtain wall that take the opening shape that we did in the previous lecture. So if we go to Revit. That's what we are trying to achieve. That's a fixed system that we talked about in the previous uh, lecture. That's a window. Uh, another curtain wall system as a sub panel uh, with door. And there will be here a circle here, not shown here. Probably we need to go to the 3D. So uh, that's my uh, that's my 3D example that we've been in the last couple of lectures. Uh, that's what I'm also trying about to add this. Uh, this curtain system to close this opening that we had in the previous lecture. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna close this end up file. And I'm gonna go to the flash memory here and I'm gonna open this one, the start file. So that's our example that we stopped in the last lecture. Uh, I'm going to start doing that or we'll start doing the curtain wall system in the first floor as it is the smallest area and I want that to be followed down so I don't want to make it big and then it isn't it doesn't have enough wall in it. So I'm going to start it here. So again here I'm going to have curtain wall system in the wall uh, down to the storefront and I'm going to just leave like uh, 400 mil using the template dimension as you can see from top and then push my hand vertically and I'm going to stop it here. I don't know where exactly but we're going to fix that. Notice that when I added the door, the wall, the curtain wall system, it's immediately cut it off as if it is a window out of the main wall that we have in here, which is really great. So let's go back to the first floor again. We have 360, so we might need to make this 400. Okay, now I wish that we didn't mess it up from the other side anyway. It is actually, so I push that. So, how much now? 400, and how much is this? Yep, happy coincident. 400. So, back to the back to the west elevation. Here. Yep. So that's my that's my uh, curtain wall system. So I'm gonna select it, and as you can see, it's touching exactly the first uh, or the upper floor, which is the roof here. That need to be break like that and then pushed up so there's no overlap as it was like this one that is overlapping so just select break and push it up and in here we need to get rid of this shouldn't overlap so just attach to the top like this delete elements 
it's just warning you that some element up there might be deleted and he's gonna create new elements for you to fix that just accept it so that's what we have so if I select this let's try that just click copy can we paste this to a selected level let's try this ground floor see how lovely it is he immediately selected and he pasted it to the ground floor and he even attached it to the top level with this concert train of attached to the top anyway that's really lovely isn't it now select that guy and let's go to edit type and duplicate and as we said in the previous lecture always make a new type here let's go that fix a fixed distance fixed distance in the horizontal and in the vertical and make it let's say 1000 by 1000 and you can see that it might take a couple of seconds to process this and then it's actually fix it for you you can now pick it up here and it's going to be exactly the same setting let me change this into shaded I can even add here some shadows if you click that you're going to see the shadows which is real nice to get a better presentation now let's just pick this one unpin and then delete it and I can just select that guy and add and remove and just get rid of this exactly now I add a bigger panel here as you see I can just go ahead and click like that and now I can unpin and I can load any other panel I can make it solid I can just make it empty whatever I want and unfortunately I don't have window here to be load and I want to make a window here so I'm gonna go to insert and from insert I'm going to pick load family and in the US metric just go to windows and that's let's say let's take this one and make sure that there is a name here curtain as we said exactly in the doors and again nothing gonna happen so again you need to pick this you just load it from the laboratory to rivet so pick that and then change it now see this one now it's available to be picked in the property type selector and now look even if I turn off the shadow see there's a new frame for it different from the mullions that's what we want anyway back to the shadow so down here I can pick this guy unpin it and let me first hide this one it's a little bit in the way so hide the element so I hit this guy and let me make it 1200 and notice when I did notice when I did raise that up as a grid it move all the panel joint and all the mullions with it in the same time let's do it again hover tab tab and then select unpin to remove the to the concentrate that it gets from the type and then change that to 1200 and actually let's make it 1100 so it will be equal distance from here to here I change this so the overall dimension from here to here will be 1200 which is exactly uh, sufficient as a minimum requirement for the door now I know that might be uh, you don't like it so if, if you want if you're gonna get fussy about it how much from here to here it's 1100 and how much from here to here 18 so if I pushed if I push that up making it 1100 so it's gonna be equal I should have gone and make a new type by the way rather than doing such oh I didn't unpin it so my bad so I have to unpin 
and then make this 1100 see should have make uh, a new type actually rather than make them like that so that's really that's really bad isn't it so let's go edit type duplicate let me make that distance type 2 and make them 1100 by 1100 and hit OK but again it's gonna be ugly as you know the horizontal distances that easier for you that will make that exactly 1200 by 1200 but it's gonna mess up the whole thing as a relationship between the horizontal one sorry the vertical one so I'm gonna undo as a brave heart here keeping this 1100 1100 1100 anyway now uh, I'm gonna hover here click unpin delete click unpin and delete and same thing click and then hover delete delete and then just select the line itself and for some reason it's giving me all open and then remove that one and then remove that one same thing here same thing here first remove the pen actually I didn't even remove the pen now select the panel like that and unpin and here again you can come and load any second you like and again we don't have the door so insert load this time we have to go to doors and then we get to pick any one of those so let's go this one nothing gonna change again it's just loaded from the library to rivet so select the panel and you can find it here that's your door as such and now we need to select all that upper sides here and let's change it into a solid for example so again select unpin and then delete select and unpin and delete let's do that and then we have to select the grids and remove the thing extra thing here now I can just simply select this guy and then change him into solid oops press unpin and then change them into solid as you can see here and in the original one I just make that as an all shape you can just go ahead and do that it's uh, I'll leave that for you uh, here I'm gonna select this again Now let's select <clears throat> this long panel. I can just uh, unpin first and then add another curtain wall system. Let's go to storefront again. And I'm gonna edit its type and duplicate it. And let's make, uh, let's say uh, 400 by 400. And it's fixed, 45 degree. So again, fix that up. So fix distance, fix distance, uh, 400 by 400. 
and you gotta go down here and change the angle to 45 and that to 45 and hit apply and you're gonna see that uh, Revit nicely gonna rotate that for you if you do hate those little bits and pieces here and you think they are annoying some of them actually can be deleted which is unfortunately none of those so probably we need to change this one pin or we're gonna mess it up yeah. so far so good one pin yeah. so either this one or this one I'm pretty sure when it was overlapping with the vertical element it was much easier to be fixed but I don't know let's try this so if we extend open and extend that guy that way okay what about you guy open yep and let's unpin and push that and then okay well, this guy let's mm -hmm. yep so it doesn't have any relationship to this which is really really bad as you can see so either going that way or that way making this protrude that way anyway so sadly that's what as good as we get I was hoping to get rid of this easy by deleting it anyway so I'm gonna leave that uh, then I jump here and unpin and then change that to the same system we just create here and I'm gonna rotate it 45 degree and then another 45 degree as such so now what we've we, we didn't draw in the original one is the ability to make any opening here so any opening in any panel so if we picked if we picked one like this for example and then we open and we add here a solid panel you see like this I can just again jump in select it then there is a little bit here a command called edit in place just stick on it and select it again and then go edit extrusion now you can actually add any other shape inside as such and then finish finish it again so we technically added another geometry inside see that geometry that we added it's actually caused a hole you know in this specific panel which is uh, kind of nice you see that's uh, as far as we get and it's uh, looking good so far <clears throat> now let's fix this let's put some curtain wall system here and cover that up even as a, a frame if we want let's try it as a frame I'm gonna go down to the street level and coming here and then in the architecture walls again I'm gonna add storefront so just starting from whatever you know like you don't need to really uh, stick to the to the exact dimension so I'm gonna go east see what I messed up here shaded zoom in see so that's my uh, wall Sadly, it's a storefront, but it doesn't have any anything in it. That's kind of crazy, isn't it? Anyway, 
So, what if I change it to fix system? Ah, uh, no. Going back to the first storefront. Good. Now, take this and edit profile. And then just select everything and delete. And let's pick lines. And I'm going to pick that one. And for some reason, it's actually cutting the circle, which is really, really painful. Anywho, hmm, delete that guy. See, so I created anywhere, and then I delete the profile, and then I took this, which is the profile actually remained from the wall, and then. I added to it the I continue it actually to draw the circle. You can just pick up a circle and you draw it, and then you get now a frame. See a frame here. Let's go again and edit profile. So you see that's that's the circle we draw. That's uh, he actually added a frame to it and everything, so that's what we've done. And we can add, let's try add a curtain grid here, see, like this, which is, yep, and yep, see, lovely. <clears throat> now, again to 3D, now we add those crosses here. It's gonna be big if you don't add it and easy to be break. So add a cross here and I'm going to sustain it. Uh, for this, you can just let the panel like this. You can select it, unpin, and then go here and choose open empty. Sorry, you're gonna just remove it for you like this as if it's not happened. Or you can just uh, this is an exterior space. If you if you again if you don't want the glass in the outside, uh, or you can just select this, open it and delete it. So just whatever you think uh, easier for you to be done. See, let's try deleting thing. Yep, it should be the same. Yeah, and it is not after jumping on the lead couple of times so sadly it isn't you have to go to empty guys and again here unpin and then add delete add empty sorry to it and now we get this lovely and round as you can see based on a I believe cubicle wall, and now it's covered up exactly the <clears throat> cover up exactly the, the the hole in the wall that we have before. And that's basically how we deal with edit profile for the curtain wall. You can draw any shape actually. So if you break that wall, and you can break and, and draw anything you like. Make a hole like this in a panel, solid one, or making an entire hole here. Adding another curtain system inside, redivide that after creating it, even if it's a fixed system. Add a wall, add a window, sorry, add a door or add a window. Uh, that's really it. Uh, that's the curtain wall system example. And uh, thank you very much and have a good day.